G'day everyone! Welcome to the second part of a countdown of my favourite shell finds from 2022. If they don't match up with your expectations, let me know! I want to see which ones were your favourites! And be sure to stay until the end of the video to see a few honourable mentions. But for now, let's get into it! Number 10. The Sieve Cowrie. My only find of this type of cowrie, they are very rare to find here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Look at that, it's a sieve cowrie! Super duper rare here, oh my god! Looks like that pattern has come off just a little bit, but it's mostly still there. What? That's amazing! Number 9. The Brown Lined Paper Bubble. This bubble shell was such an incredible find, mostly because of the gorgeous creature that lives inside of it when it's alive. Oh my goodness, what? I just found a live one of these like two days ago. I didn't think I'd actually find an empty shell. It is the Rose Petal Bubble Snail's Shell, also called the Brown Lined Paper Bubble Snail. It's, it's got a lot of names, oh my goodness. It looks like it's in perfect condition, what? But oh my goodness, I adore this, wow. Number eight, might be a little controversial, but I love it. The sub-adult Arabian cowrie. Right there, stuck between that rock right there. It's an Arabian. I'm gonna be very careful getting down. There's lots of sharp barnacles. All right, all right, we're, we're going for it before the waves come. Oh, stretch ready. Oh, got it, got it. Ooh. Okay, up, 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 up. Oh, up, up, up. What? What? Oh my goodness, what? Wow, guys, look at the bottom of that. It is a sub adult Arabian cowrie. Wow, I have never found a sub adult Arabian before. That is absolutely gorgeous. Number seven, a giant hairy triton. This one in particular surprised me because I didn't think much of it at the time, but after giving it a bleach bath, it is actually a gorgeous shell with a very deep orange colour. So he made it to the list. What are you? Oh, it's not, it's like wedged but not stuck. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, let me get back up. All right, I'm back up. Ooh, look at that thing. My goodness. It is a giant hairy triton with a lot of its hair still on it. The hair is called the periostracum. Um, I think is what it's called. Very, very cool. It's obviously why it gets its name. But oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting to find one and not like and not find one intact. And this one looks like freshly emptied too because it's still got all of its periostracum. That is that is absolutely incredible. That's gonna come up so well in a bleach bath. Wow. Number six, a shuttle shell, the rosy spindle cowrie. Sweet swirly seashells everyone, after much sifting, I have what I would consider the absolute jaw-dropping beauty of the shuttle world. Look at that one, it's like pink and beautiful, like the same colour as my fingers. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, rosy, uh, rosy spindle cowrie, that's right. It's of course a fake cowrie or a false cowrie, but oh my goodness, this is like absolutely wonderful. Probably going to be the favorite today without a doubt. Oh my. Number five, a butterfly moon snail. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh, it is whole. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. I've never found one of these before. Oh my God. Is that like, what do they call these? A, a gaudy nautica? Colorful moon snail? I don't know, but look at that pattern. Okay, that is probably going to be the favorite today. Didn't I have a favorite as a moon snail not that long ago too? Oh, wowzers, I love that. Number four, a red lined bubble shell. This is an extremely rare find here. These red line bubble shells are very, very delicate and can easily be smashed and never seen on shore. My goodness, look at this one. It's a lined bubble shell, I think they call it, or like a, a red lined bubble shell. I only saw a picture of it once before and that was on um, a Facebook page I'm part of. Oh my goodness, I didn't think I'd actually find one. 
That is super duper cool. The uh, little snail in it looks like it has like electric blue edges all around it. That is a super neat little find. Wow. Number three, the lynx cowrie. I picked it up and found it almost completely calcified, but with a little work, I got it looking fantastic. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness, everyone. This is my first lynx cowrie. Wow, you can barely see the pattern anymore because of the calcification on it. But yeah, for sure, look at those lovely red teeth as well. This is a lynx cowrie. Wow, super excited to find one of those. I've always wanted one and just never come across them before. Number two, the zigzag cowrie. Well, hello, are you a Humphreys cowrie? It's what? No freaking way, oh my God. Whoa, it's actually a zigzag cowrie. I didn't know that looked like Humphreys cowries on the bottom. Oh my God, it's beautiful. This is my first time finding one. I actually ran into a guy uh, last Friday who had one too. Um, so I guess they're just popping up a little bit more here right now, but oh my goodness, look at the pattern on that one. What, that's so nice. Number one, the geography cones. Yes, I am putting both finds for my geography cones in here. I started doing this list and my geography cone find was number one. And then the next day I found a second geography cone. So I thought, screw it, they're both going in here. Oh, sweet, swirly seashells. What the actual heck is this thing? Like for sure there's no creature in there, right? Oh my goodness, what are you? What the actual heck are you? Are you a geography cone? Are you a super faded geography cone? It is so delicate, it feels so light. I can totally understand why there's a bit missing at the top there. Oh, that is spectacular and amazing. Whatever it is, it's the first time I found one. Are you actually kidding me? Are you freaking serious? Oh, do you think that's all? I mean, for sure I can see inside of that. There is not a creature in that, right? Right, it's just sand and stuff, right? Oh, I start to wonder sometimes, like when the heck is my beginner's luck going to run out? Yeah, for sure, that is, I'm not getting the tongs. It's just like sand and stuff in there. <gasps> it's all, are you freaking serious, Batman? Holy sweet, swirly seashells. That is. A geography cone! I found my first geography cone a few weeks ago. This one is even bigger and nicer, like it actually has all of its colors. <laughs> oh my God, Christmas came just a little bit early for me today. Sweet, swirly heck, everyone. And that was my 10 to one list for my second countdown for 2022 shell finds. Once again, I would like to give some honorable mentions to shells that almost made it to the list, but just didn't quite get there. First up was the giant captain cone. What an epic shell find, just super surprised it was sitting there right along the walking path. Next up, the sea butterflies. They're a type of pelagic gastropod that float around on the ocean surface. They kind of don't really show up here that often. They were very, very cool to find that day. I also want to mention a sub-adult wandering cowrie. This one in particular is just a very, very beautiful green shell. This guy nearly made it to the list, the big partridge ton. I was super, super amazed at just how beautiful this shell was. In the end, he didn't quite make it to the list because of his big broken lip, but oh gosh, what a great find. And lastly, my honorable mention goes to the black-bottomed Arabian cowrie, the so-called edgelord cowrie, the emo of the Arabian world. Yes, he is currently my avatar on YouTube and social media platforms, so he gets the honorable mention. How do you think I did? Do you agree or disagree with these ones? I will be leaving links to the videos which have all of these shells contained in them down in the description. 
And that's it for part two of my favorite shell finds in the last half of my YouTube episodes. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.